Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something near and dear to the gun space on YouTube's heart and that is reloading, specifically the economics. Now we're not going to talk about how you actually make ammunition. We're just going to talk about the money that is saved by making your own ammunition as well as the time it takes to do so and what your break even point might look like. And to that, I bring you to our first graph and chart. Now I know what you're thinking. People on YouTube love looking at graphs and charts. So here is your first one. That's right, ammo costs a lot of money right now due to the shortage, due to the panic buying. And you might be aware of that. Now the ammo that you make is only as good as you are. It is a skill that you have to practice. So initially, your loads are probably gonna be trash and barely cycle the gun or heaven forbid, you may end up doing something dangerous. Don't do that. But once you get it dialed in, you're treated to more consistent, better, more accurate ammunition that you can tune to your individual guns and make the recoil behave like you like it to feel so you can truly begin to appreciate what it's like to have the gun be a system with the ammunition you choose to feed it. Additionally, it's easier to get a hold of components during these shortages than it is live ammo, so there's that as well. Let's start purely with the financial standpoint. If you were to go out six months ago and try to buy a thousand rounds of nine millimeter ammunition, just target loads, you'd be paying about 170 to $180 or 17 to 18 cents per round. Fast forward to today and the ammo prices range from about $270 per thousand on up to $320 per thousand, which is 27 to 32 cents per round. So if you were to load your own target loads using a coated lead projectile in the 125 grain, which is what I shoot, so that's what we're gonna talk about, how much would that ammo cost? Now, the first rule of rolling your own is that you need to buy components in bulk. So we're gonna operate on the assumption you're buying your bullets by the case, which is about 3,600 projectiles. You're buying your primers by the thousand. And we'll just assume that for this example that you're buying little one pound kegs of powder. The brass, we're going to assume that you've done a good job collecting brass prior to reloading, so you don't have to pay anything for brass, you just have to clean it. So a case of 3,600 projectiles is gonna set you back about $245. Two pounds of a good fast pistol powder is gonna cost about $45. 4,000 primers are gonna set you back about $140. The brass we're going to assume is free, but if you had to buy it, it's about $25 per 1,000 pieces of once fired brass. And these are current everyday prices. This is not shopping for components on sale, so you can improve on these numbers that I've just shared with you. So altogether, we've spent about $430, which for 3,600 rounds equates to about 12 cents per round. That's gonna leave us with about five cents per round savings over the best of times ammo price. And with the current ammo prices, it's gonna be about 15 to 20 cents per round savings, which is significant. Talking cents per round is a pretty small number, but we're talking about saving about $50 per case of ammo, or with current ammo pricing, it's saving about $120 to $150 per case of ammo, which is very significant. And so immediately the people who justify buying it cheap and stacking it deep in their garage are going to say, yeah, but my time is worth something. So we have to talk about time next. Using wet tumblers, I will spend about 40 minutes of hands-on time trying to clean my brass. I'll spend about 72 minutes or less loading all of the primers into the primer magazines. And the amount of time I'll actually send there cranking on the press is gonna vary based on your press speed. If you have the top end press making 3,600 rounds, it'll take you about 240 minutes. And if you have a lower level progressive press, you're probably at 450 minutes to load that 3,600 rounds. So in our example, it took us about 7.7, .7, or let's just call it eight hours to load 3,600 rounds of ammunition from start to finish. Now that doesn't include any time to quality control if you wanted to case gauge every single one of those rounds. But if you're a sensible person and have a hundo case gauge from the Ben Steger Pro Shop, it takes about five minutes to check 100 rounds. So that adds about three hours to the whole process. So in the best of times, loading that 3,600 rounds, we saved about $180, which would be the equivalent of paying yourself about $22.50 an hour for your time pulling the lever. But under current times where we're saving $180 per thousand, loading that 3,600 rounds saved us $540. We would be paying ourselves over $67 per hour to load that ammunition. But you can't load that ammunition without the equipment. And so there is a large capital expenditure you're gonna have to make at the front end. 
Now, there are all kinds of presses that you can buy. I'm going to keep it to the absolute minimum that I would recommend and then kind of the middle of the road of what I'd actually recommend for a high volume shooter. Then if you really value your time and you wanna go as fast as possible, there is going to be the deep end, but we won't spend a lot of time there. So I'm only gonna talk about Dylan presses because in my opinion, they're some of the most reliable on the market and most of them have lifetime warranties with no questions asked. So the low end of a press I would recommend just for loading handgun ammunition would be the Square Deal B, which is about $460. You're gonna to need to clean your brass, so I would recommend getting two dual drum rotary tumblers from Harbor Freight, it's about 120 bucks. You're gonna need a digital caliper that reads to the thousandth of an inch, and you can get those on Amazon for about $23. I've got a link in the description. You're going to need a digital scale which can read grains of weight. Again, those are available on Amazon for about $13. You're gonna need some boxes to carry your ammo to and from the range in, so I'm gonna recommend this dozen MTM flip top boxes that'll allow you to keep 1,200 rounds in boxes, and I'll recommend picking up three 30 cal ammo cans, which is gonna run you about 22 bucks on Prime. The next piece you're gonna think you don't need, but I'm telling you, you absolutely do need it, and that is a shell sorter kit. It's going to separate your 45 from your 40 from your nine, the shell sorter plate is worth the money and effort because the place you want to find oversized cases is before they go into your press. And the shell sorter package is available on Prime for about $52. Now you're gonna have to go to your favorite home improvement store and buy a pair of the five gallon buckets to sort your brass in. And optional, but I highly recommend if you're gonna do any chamber checking of any appreciable quantity of ammo is the Hundo case gauge from the Ben Steger Pro Shop that's gonna set you back an extra $100. And another piece of optional equipment is the Frankfurt Arsenal Vibra Prime, which works great with any brand of primers other than Winchester, it seems, and it will cut the amount of time of loading your primer magazines in about half. So with that optional equipment, that's gonna put us about $915. Now, in the best of times, that $900 is going to break even over 18,000 rounds, so it's gonna take a little bit of time, but in the current times, if you started loading right now with today's ammo prices, and they'll probably stick around for a while, you would break even in just 6,100 rounds. Now, if you stepped up a level in press to kind of the intermediate press going from the Square Deal B to the XL750 with the case feeder, you're gonna go from about four to 500 rounds an hour to about six to 700 rounds an hour. So it's gonna save you some time pulling the handle. And doing that is gonna cost an extra $565 just for the press and the dies that it uses. So in the best times, that's gonna be a break-even point of over 29,000 rounds. Right now, it would be a break-even of just shy of 10,000 rounds, which is actually pretty reasonable. So the deepest end on the press game is gonna be the RL1100. Now the press alone is $2,100. I'm not gonna throw out the numbers at you. If you wanna save all the time and only do everything on the upstroke of the ramp, then get that press. Everyone who has it loves it. So the argument then goes to, well, I make more money than that in an hour, so it's not worth my time. While that may be true, the time you spend reloading is always going to be non-productive time. You're gonna trade Facebook and TV time for pulling the lever and listening to podcast time, and you get ammo from doing this. So yes, but no. Very few people can earn money at night when they're tired, but you can make ammo. So that's what I've got for you guys. If you've got questions about reloading, leave a comment below and we'll talk about it. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks guys.